Hello and welcome to Oh! The Horror, the only show on YouTube that promotes auto-cannibalism. No. Oh. My name is Alex. And I'm Matt. Two weeks ago, we got a little information about a possible sequel to Pacific Rim. This week, Guillermo del Toro has made dreams come true with a special announcement on YouTube. There will be even more Pacific Rim than we could have hoped for, including a continuation to the comic series, a new animated series, and of course, the sequel. As always, a link to the video is below. This year, Satan Claus will be coming to town a little early, although this time he's the one being naughty. The 1984 film by Charles E. Sellier Jr., Silent Night, Death of Night, has been announced to have a 30th anniversary Blu-ray edition, courtesy of Anchor Bay. The Blu-ray will be released this September 16th, 2014, so pick it up and be ready to celebrate the holidays and deck the halls with brutally murdered victims. Also available on Blu-ray this September is another holiday favorite, Leprechaun. St. Patrick's Day. On the same day that the prequel Leprechaun Origins is being released, Lionsgate is pushing out a complete Blu-ray box set that will include Origins in it. Be sure to pick up your copy of Leprechaun, the complete movie collection Blu-ray box set this September alongside Silent Night, Deadly Night. Wait! There's one more coming to Blu-ray this September. The complete anthology of The Exorcist. That's right, what has been voted the scariest film of all time by multiple critics is coming to Blu-ray with all of its sequels and the extended director's cut of the original. Be sure to pick up your copy of The Exorcist alongside Leprechaun The Complete Movie Collection and Silent Night Deadly Night this September 23rd. The Perfect House will be making its way to DVD on July 22nd, and it looks like the perfect movie for any fan of blood and gore. You get it? I said perfect house, and I said perfect movie. Uh, I tied that in right, that was nice. That's a nice little bow on it. Personally, I love anthologies. Films like Creep Show are a trick or treat, and I'm really excited for this one. The Perfect House is an anthology that focuses on, well, a house. A young couple looking to buy, but must face the house bloody past. So please check out the trailer and the link that we provided down below and pick up the DVD on July 22nd. If you're a horror fan or just a fan of anything awesome and you want to wear it on your body, then jump on over to our friends at TheElectricZombie.com and grab up some delicious graphic tees, hoodies, prints, and even something for your dog from their Merch Now or Merch Line stores. Remember, that's TheElectricZombie.com. Rob Zombie has finally given some information on his new film, 31. Although most of the information he gave was just debunking the myths about the film, he said that it will not have anything to do with Captain Spaulding from his previous films, House of a Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Rejects. And he said it will also not be a remake of Stephen King's It. Sorry, guys. He said the film will not be based on anything and stands as an original idea. However, he did say that it does take place on Halloween night. Hence, the 31st... Of October. For more information on the film, sign up for Rob Zombie's mailing list at the link below, and we will have more on it soon. If you're a fan of Japanese horror, either in video game or film, be ready because Fatal Frame is getting a movie. So far, a trailer has been released for an exclusively Japanese release. Why am I talking about something that's only happening in Japan? Why are you questioning me? I'm talking about this because it's been reported that there will be two Fatal Frame films. One in Japan, and one made here by Hollywood in the U.S. The American version of the film will be released soon after the new Fatal Frame game that is expected to be released on the Wii U. Also in Japanese horror, if you're a fan of doing a swan dive into a pool full of razor blades, then be on the lookout because Takashi Miike's masterpiece, Audition, is getting a remake. A lonely widower is holding auditions for a new bride, and the one he picks has far more than just a few skeletons in her closet. Richard Gray, director of The Lookalike, will be in charge of the 1999 cult classics remake, and if you've seen the original, or if you're looking for something that'll be deliciously disgusting, then be sure to keep up with the news on the new audition. We recently got our first look at the new Sony Pictures release entitled The Last Showing. When a projectionist feels his job has lost its meaning, he decides to make a horror film of his own, using real people. Robert England, yes, Robert England will be playing our projectionist. Game of Thrones' own Finn Jones and Emily Barrington of 
24, Live Another Day, will be our protagonist. Not much is known just yet, as only a teaser trailer has been released for the film. You can follow the film on Facebook, and we will have more on it as it happens. Well, that's all we have for this episode. Be sure to check back throughout the week as we upload more content, including news for comics, Alex's Let's Play videos, movie reviews, and more. Please subscribe, jump on over to our Facebook page, and give us a like, or follow us on Twitter. Be sure to check back next week for another episode of Oh, The Horror.